Salve galera, tiozão japa na área, mais um jogo comentado. E o título de hoje é Outcast Second Contact. Antes de mais nada, se você não é inscrito no canal, inscreva-se. Ative o sininho para receber as notificações, pois todo dia vai ter uma novidade por aqui. Aproveite e deixe seu like, compartilhe com os amigos que vai ajudarem muito na divulgação do canal. Valeu mesmo, hein? Outcast Second Contact é um TPS em mundo aberto que, segundo a sinopse, revolucionou e inspirou muitos outros jogos com a mesma dinâmica. Para um jogo antigo tem cutscenes ditas como cinematográficas, mas é até engraçado pois os personagens parecem que se comunicam telepaticamente já que não mexem a boca. No entanto, quando o nosso personagem se comunica com os ETs, mexe. Deveria ser ao contrário, mas fazer o que, né? Até pouco tempo eu não sabia o que era FPS e TPS, pois Tiozão Japa não é muito fã de jogos assim. Mas F é de sigla The First, que é o mesmo que Primeira, e T é sigla The Third, que é Terceira. Então TPS é Third Person Shooting, ou jogo de tiro em terceira pessoa. O nosso personagem é convocado para se unir a uma antiga companheira para uma missão. Porém, de alguma forma, ele foi enviado para outra dimensão com ETs que o confundem como um ser supremo que vai ajudar a civilização desse povoado. O jogo começa no tutorial aos 14 minutos e 25 segundos, para quem quiser pular a sequência de abertura do enredo do jogo, e aos 31 minutos e 45 segundos, o início da aventura após o tutorial. Vou ler a sinopse para vocês. Outcast Second Contact é o remake completo do cultuado Outcast, o primeiro jogo de mundo aberto em 3D na história dos videogames, que abriu caminho para o gênero moderno de ação e aventura. Assuma o papel de Cutter Slade, um soldado de elite experiente mandado em uma missão desesperada para um planeta alienígena. Explore um mundo magnífico que mistura ciência e magia, descubra cidades exóticas, Enfrente inimigos fortes e descubra os segredos de uma civilização avançada. Tome as decisões corretas neste mundo vivo e em seu ecossistema, pois o destino desses dois universos depende de seu sucesso. Mais de 50 horas de aventura cinematográfica de ficção científica. Combates espetaculares com um arsenal evolutivo. Liberdade total em um mundo aberto, vivo e imenso. Fim da sinopse. O jogo está traduzido para o português brasileiro, para variar mais um jogo comprado com desconto de 90% a R$ 19,95. Hoje o jogo está custando na loja da PSN por R$ 199,50. Foi distribuído pela Nacon SA, é para apenas um jogador offline, censura 12 anos, lançado em de novembro de 2017, está classificado como ação, aventura, fantasia e TPS. Tiozão já agradece sua visita aqui no canal, até o próximo vídeo galera. Sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30 degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, 
This is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you and me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 so, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suits a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with that. the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck. My hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Sokrim, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. 
What others do you talk of? Others mm, like me. We found you alone, Ulokai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Croax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Kazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zogrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me, then I to you. How many men do you have? Once we numbered in the thousands, now we are but a hundred and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulakai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe. My equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads. And I have one backpack with my HKP-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai. But if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Halan's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Lan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Daoka, so you may leave. So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yam's tests, Urukai? No, not yet. 
I believe you will find yourself most rewarding, Ulokai. Return to me once you have completed them, please. Can I ask you something? Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I'm glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad accessed. Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad accessed. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Feyron. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Khazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad accessed. Metal detected. Lexicon. Let's accessed. see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Be careful coming down, Urukai! HKP-12 ammo located. Ouch! Pardon me, buddy. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Come here a second, would you? 
What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. Notepad. Backfest. You shoot well! You shoot well! Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. Come here a second, would you? You want me to swim in there? I'll freeze my headset off. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Swim to the bottom to find the best ones, but be sure to protect your essence. Notepad accessed. Metal detected. What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Excuse me, pal. How does this work? Or tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Notepad accessed.
One, two, three. You did it! I could not see you! So, did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I have no doubts that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelphi now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yods. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a... Come here a second, would you? So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Urukai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Urukai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five months, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daoka in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well. You will need to find the Shamas. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help, Ulukai. A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croax. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. 
you have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the advice. Know this. All guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Notepad accessed. HKB-12 ammo located. Pardon me, buddy. Hello there. Oh, you are better, I see, you look guy. Sure am. Then you will want to find Shamaz Zeb and begin searching the regions for the Mons. Please know that all the soldiers of every region are on the hunt for you. I would Mazar until you feel you are ready to travel into the other regions. But know that you can enter any of them whenever you feel the need. Thanks for the tip. It is my honor to help you, Ulukai. But another word of warning. Some Daopas lead directly into soldier camps. You would be wise to enter only those Daoka that you know lead to a someplace less dangerous. I'll keep that in mind. Then I will not keep you any longer, Ulukai. Shema Zeb waits you in the village to the west. If you would like, I would like to take you to the village. You can take me there, huh? Yes, if you would like. Sure, I'd love the company. I will show you what I can along the way. Please follow me, Ulukai.
pouch. Hello there, working hard? Yes, Lokai. I must not stop working or the soldiers will be upset. Please speak with our boss. How are you doing? I am very busy, Mulukai. I must clear this accident we had trying to repair the temple car. So, what happened? We are very scared to be here. We hear always the gorgor in the waters behind the temple car, and it makes us afraid. The soldiers want us to finish soon and return to our field to work. We almost finished, but the rocks fell and blocked the path. We are trying to clean it before soldiers see it. What can I do to help? Do not trouble yourself, Urukai. You have more important things to do besides help us. But if I had a wish, it would be for a large piece of dynamite to blow that accident to the yachts. Notepad. Accessed. Key detected. Hurry up! Unstable organic energy detected. Come here a second, would you? Greetings. Hello, Lukai. I am Zio, caretaker of the Well of Essence. What is the Well of Essence? The Well? It is where all Talan come to be converted into a full Talan. Converted? Yes. From the Well comes a vast amount of raw essence energy. When a Talan who has not yet been converted stands near the Well of Essence, this energy flows through them and activates their true Talan essence inside. It's not dangerous, is it? No. No, Lukai. All Talan do this when they reach the proper age. It is only then that a child becomes an adult and can join the rest of us to work for the Yods. No one knows which essence a Talon will become until after the conversion ceremony is complete. Say, Zio, I've been meaning to ask this. How come I've not seen any children around? They are all with the females in Kizar. 
This is where they are raised until it is time for their conversion into adulthood at the Well of Essence. Lexicon accessed. Why are there no females around? They do not like to be around us males unless it is the time of mating. Then, for only five moons, we males are allowed to travel to Kizar. We are then chosen by the females for mating if we are lucky. And the unlucky ones? They get to care for the children for the five moons. After that time, we males must leave, taking with us any of the males who have come of age. We then bring them here for a large conversion ceremony. And Feyran lets this happen? He has no choice. If the time of mating is missed, no new soldiers will be created for his forces. How many times you been picked? Ulukai, that is a very personal question. What is the history of this Well of Essence? Countless thousands of moons ago, there was a Talan who came near the Well of the first time. We call him the First Talan, since he was the first among us to receive his essence. He stood near the well, trying to look down into it, when he felt the essence energy surge through him. After this, he discovered that he could heal another Talan. That is interesting. Yes, he thought so as well. After that, Talan after Talan have come to the well at a certain age to be converted from child to adult. All used to look forward to standing on the very stone the first Talan stood, but that stone, the essence stone, has been removed by Croax. Lexicon accessed. Why did Croax take the essence stone? He wants always that more Talan are converted into Fey Talan to increase the fighting force of Fey Ran. He keeps the essence stone somewhere outside the temple Fey, praying on it himself only to ask the Yod Fey for more soldiers. Has it worked? I do not know. All I know is if someone were to get it away from him, that his soldiers would be very upset by this. They all consider it to be theirs now. The other Talan of Shamazar would be extremely happy though. Lexicon accessed. Foreign vegetation
Ow! 